What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Cyberhealer, and in today's video, we're going to be going over whether or not Hades is worth your time. What is Hades, you might ask? Well, if you're, not li if you're living under a rock, you don't know, but for anyone who hasn't, I'm just going to tell the five people that don't, and we can move on. Hades is a rogue-like rogue um, RPG, per se. It's not really an RPG, but... That's what we're going to call it. It's a, it's a roguelike. So you play as the son of Hades, the ruler of hell, and you get assist from the Greek gods to give you powers and stuff like that. And you have to escape hell. <laughs> so you progress through the levels, yada, yada, yada. But if you die, it's over. That's the whole thing of a roguelike. As soon as you, you can go as far as you want, but if you die... It's over. So, let's get into the main meat of this video. Is it worth your time? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's just take a few good things from this, and I'll kind of talk about them. Um, great storytelling. It has a very compelling story. It makes you want to play more. Doing a great job with the story there. So, definitely A plus there. That's one point for Hades. Um... Does it have good enemy variety? Absolutely. I feel like every different stage has totally new enemies, and you're getting new enemies all the time. It's absolutely great enemies. Enemies are different enemies for each room. Each room has several different enemies, multiple waves of enemies that change per time you play, all sorts of things. Um, let's look at the weapons next. Weapons, um, there are six different weapons with three different customizable options each as you play the game you unlock these more customizable options absolutely great playing the game makes you stronger but also doesn't give you a huge advantage because the game will balance out with you great play there and i assume some of you are thinking well roguelikes are a huge factor of R rng random chance generation for those who do not know um <sighs> Throw that out the window. <laughs> and here's why I say that. Yes, there's a bit of RNG, but there's enough there that no matter what, you will be always able to save a run when you're playing the game. You'll always have at least enough god powers, or aka boons as they're called. I don't know why they're called boons, but that's what they're called. There's coins, gems, health, random NPCs that'll give you gifts, you're always able to save a run, no matter what, as long as you're good enough. So, that's a big factor in this, and it's so well made with those three aspects. And not to, mo not to mention, I'm not a huge fan of music, but the boss fight music in this game is really damn good. So... Absolutely good thing. Um, the enemies feel like you have to take them down, like they're going to destroy you. But you also feel like you have all the power in the world because of your power-ups and stuff. So the movement is absolutely astonishingly great with your dash, your move. Everything feels good. And you have power-ups from the gods that help you move, damage, yada, yada, yada. There is so much of that. I can't find many flaws in this game. And yes, there are some. You know, it once you defeat an enemy, you can't get that same item with that the enemy drops with that weapon again. You have to use a different weapon. Which, not a big deal, but is kind of annoying. But it allows you, kind of makes you diverge away from your favorite weapon. So, you like the spear, you have to use the gauntlets next. Or the sword, or something. It just helps you kind of stay fresh and loose. Um, randomly generated every time kind of items, which doesn't mean you won't be able to get the same items as the last time. It's just they'll be in a di different place. Excuse me. Um, you also have these things called keepsakes, and they will randomly... You can get this thing called nectar, and this thing will allow you to gift to whoever you'd like, and then we'll give you a special item that you can equip. You can only have one of these at a time. 
but you're allowed to change these out every time you beat a boss. Okay? These keepsakes can help you do more damage, stay alive longer, um, get certain powers from the gods or have their power pop up more. Great things to have. So you can affect the RNG in this game. Most roguelikes don't give you that option. That's why this game is so good. And I can't stop playing this game. I've played this game for three days straight with almost no other games being played. So if my two clears and I think 24 hours of gameplay isn't enough to sell you on this, I don't know what is. I'm not sponsored, but I just feel like if you're looking for a game, Christmas is obviously around the corner, whatever you celebrate, you can pick this game up. It's 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. And you'll have days, weeks of fun doing whatever you're going to do. So check it out. I think it's worth your time. Tell me what you think in the comments below, um, what episode or what game you want to see next, and I'll make it happen. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.